What's up? I'm Darrell Smith, former NFL player turned chef and owner of Amaze Balls. And today we're making a family meal inspired by the springtime. We got a lamb shank. We're gonna spruce that bad boy up with some shallot. We got a beautiful green apple. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some couscous on the side and brighten it all up with a watermelon and feta salad. So we got a little bit of something for everybody. All right, who's ready to eat? Because this is mad good for you. So we're gonna make a seasoning for our lamb shanks. We got some allspice, some clove, which kind of smells similar to me, but tastes a little different. We got some garlic, little bit of rosemary, and we got some, oh, time, I love it. And then we're gonna get a little bit of this tomato paste in there. What this is gonna do is give us some color. I'll stir this up, right? And just create a paste that we'll then rub onto our shanks. Oh, that smells good. Mmm, I love it. All right, let me get my lamb shanks out the fridge. Here we go, look how sexy those things is. So this is something that is inspired by my childhood. I always knew when springtime was here because the week before Easter was Palm Sunday. And then that next week was huge because everybody at church gets super fresh and every single church in the hood is full <laughs> because this is like the only day that people go to church. And so this meal is inspired by that. It's inspired by me being a child and coming home to a beautiful dinner. However, as an adult, I like to host a myriad of people. And so this is for my Christian friends and my Jewish friends who celebrate Passover. And what better than lamb to feed everybody, right? Who doesn't like lamb? Come on now. So what we're gonna start off with is a little bit of salt and pepper. With this, I'll be liberal just because it's meat. Like you always wanna season your meat liberally, all right? So growing up, dinner on Easter is like three o'clock because you're trying to get one meal and then by the end of the day, you're gonna get another one. And so we're gonna make a good amount of this bad boy. And don't worry about both sides because I'm gonna twist this around as we go. So we got this and now I just want to smear that mixture all over my meat. So now our pan is heated up. We got that on the medium heat. I'm gonna take that lid off. And we just wanna hit it with a little bit of oil, not too much. Just to make sure we coat the bottom of the pan a little bit and put the lamb shanks right in. My goal is to just get a nice sear. You ain't gotta cook it too long because we're gonna pop these in the oven after. Oh, listen to that. Get the rest in there. These are gonna take a little bit of time because we got the bone, but whenever you add meat into a stove with some bone, it always just makes the flavor so much better, all right? I don't wanna waste the seasoning, and so I'ma just go back over. We are gonna smear that on the top of it. So let me see. We've had this in here a few minutes. We're gonna let it just keep going. And while we're doing that, we're gonna slice up a little bit of apple. And so apple might seem a little weird, right? But the beauty about lamb is that it goes really well with sweet stuff. I'm gonna start by just slicing a little piece of this. And we're just gonna do some thin slices that we'll put on at the end. But while we're doing this, we don't wanna waste no time. And so we just go with it, all right? It ain't gotta be too big. Little pieces. All right, so all I'm gonna do is just turn these over. They're all beautifully seared. Look how sexy that thing is. So we got our lamb shanks going. We're gonna add our shallots and our apples. But before we do that, we're gonna add a little bit of spices to spice this bad boy up. We got a little bit of peppercorn. I got a bay leaf. I'm gonna hit it with these apples. Mm -hmm. Just right over top. And then we're gonna hit it with these shallots. And I'm gonna just go all around. What this is gonna do is give us a nice flavor. So I'm gonna give it just one stir. Make sure all of that stuff is in there. The best thing about making a big family meal is that then you have the opportunity to just break it down into smaller meals. And so that's what we're gonna do today. And next, we got some chicken stock. And we got mad apple cider vinegar. There we go, babies. <laughs> go ahead and swim. 
All right. Look at that steam. This is how my skin is so clear. So we're gonna let that chill. I'm gonna keep it on the stove for a little bit. But while we do that, I'm gonna get this couscous going. So if you don't know, the beauty of couscous is that it might be the easiest thing to cook. All you gotta do is add your couscous to some broth, hit it with a little bit of butter. Mm -mm -mm. Come here, butter. Stir that around. Pop on the top and turn that bad boy off. And what happens is your couscous becomes nice and fat and fluffy and delicious. You know, growing up the son of pastors, springtime was always about Easter for us. But now as an adult, I like to invite all of my friends. If, if you come to my house, you, you mess around and you come in, I'm making matzo ball soup. I mean, I'm, I might make you a, a empanada with some lamb. Why not? All right. So we're gonna pop this in the oven and make sure you just bend your knees and get some ass into it because this is a pretty heavy pan. So I'm gonna transport this over here. Take it on that oven. We're gonna leave this in 350, low and slow, remember. And so we'll check on it around, let's say like two hours, all right? So we've got our lamb in the oven. We've got our couscous blooming. We're gonna make that watermelon and feta salad because it's spring. Springtime. <laughs> Springtime. <laughs> We're about to fluff our couscous. Make sure it's done. And look at that. The key to a good couscous is once it is done, you just go through and you fluff it. Make sure it's not too sticky, just like that. And what you're left with are these beautiful grains. All right, now you can eat it like this or you can put some fancy fixings like I'm about to do. I'm gonna start with a little bit of scallion. We got some spinach and all I wanna do is just take those edges off and then we'll go and just chop this up. You know, we'll get the rest of it. And that looks pretty good. I'll put this to the side and then I'm gonna take my spinach and we'll just roll it up Nicely, you ain't gotta do too much. Same thing. Rough chop on this. We just want some strands. The beautiful thing about this is it's, it's similar to couscous in that once you put it into there and it, and it gets that steam, it'll cook on its own. I'm gonna take this whole bundle and we're just gonna dump that bad boy right in, okay? All right. A little bit of salt and pepper. And we'll season up our couscous a little more with a little bit of lemon zest. And I like to just turn it over, get all of the zest in my microplane. Cut this in half and just get that juice out of it as well. All right, catch those seeds because the seeds look like couscous if you haven't seen already. I'm gonna fluff this one more time. Look how beautiful that is. And now we'll taste it, see if it needs anything. Mmm, pop it like. Now, for the final step, we'll add that oil. I like to just add the oil at, in the last step. Make sure everything's good. We're gonna get our lamb out the oven. Look how pretty this is. <laughs> I bet your dad lamb don't look like that. And if you see this, like this beautiful gravy at the bottom, it's nice and thick. The apple adds something to it, the onion adds something to it. Look at that. Yeah. That's that good food then. We've got our lamb done, we've got our couscous done. We'll plate this up, but before we do, we're gonna make our watermelon and feta salad. I'm gonna cut this into cubes to match our feta cheese. You can do this as big as you want. They got bigger as I went. Dump all of this watermelon right into this bowl. So with feta, it's so crumbly that you can just take it and crumble it with your fingers like this. Like if you see it, 
It literally comes right off. But it's for the family. And so you just want to make sure everything's uniform. I'll go across and I'll cut these maybe half the size of my watermelon. If you want to save some time, you could buy these crumbled up already. I don't know, I like it cubed. So next what we want to do, which is a little weird, we want to get a little bit of salt and pepper, all right? Whenever you add salt to something sweet, it brings out the sweetness even more. Now when you add pepper, I'm not gonna lie, this is a little weird, but it goes. So just trust me, all right? <laughs> like it's weird, but it goes, okay? Sumac is a Mediterranean spice. It reminds me of, I think it's, hey Jazz, is it tangine? Tangine? Tahine. Tahine. Look at that, look at that. Just like that. And za'atar. Za'atar is also a Mediterranean spice. You get it a lot on hummus. It is, I don't even know what it is. It just smells mad good. It got sesame seeds in it and mad spices. All right, next, we're gonna do the same thing with our lime. This seems like a lot of food, but I guarantee you that none of this is gonna go to waste. We dress for springtime right now. I ain't even buying my mom flowers. I'm just coming in this shirt. <laughs> she gonna accept me. It seems like we might be done, but we're gonna add a little bit more. And to do that, we're gonna take these swaggy ass scissors over to our wall. Oh, my babies. I miss you. That's my babe, you know. So I'm just gonna take off a little bit from the top. And so what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna create a nice little bundle. And we just gonna roll this bad boy up like a blunt. And I'll just take this and cut it into nice little strands. And we'll add that to our watermelon feather salad as well. And finally, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of balsamic you like that? You like when I pour it slow? There we go. Look at how pretty that is. Ah! I love it. That's enough. And now it's time to eat. I'm gonna load my plate up because this is, that's how you do it for the fam. And I'm gonna just take this bad boy and I'm gonna just plate it just like that. Put it right across our couscous, nice and beautiful. I'm gonna take some of that jus and just pour it all over top of it. So that's looking good. And finally, just a little bit of that watermelon and feta salad. Put that on the side. We got some freshness. Let's take this. We saved this uh, basil and mint for the last. Look how beautiful that is. We got all these colors. You want some, don't you? <laughs> Look at that thing just falling off the bone. That's exactly how we want it. Make sure I get a little piece of feta on there too. And we open wide, look at that, perfect bite. <laughs> Come on, Miss Love Tour. <laughs> it's so good. Damn, that's good. You bite into it, it's like caramelly. And then you get that nice little bite. It punches you a little bit with that feta. And that's it. Look at this. Look at this. This is a springtime meal. Mama would be proud.